Okay, I'm unboxing Glyph Dragon for our first unboxing card that it's open. But I've already done this video six times, so get these out of the way. Pop all these out. Get that out of the way. Out of the way. Launchers. These are one of Hasbro's best launchers in my opinion. I really like them. We'll go over the box now. Actually, I should probably go over the drop and frequency and stuff first. So, runtime is the length of time spent moving along the brinker within the battle ring. That would be on here, moving around here, or in here. And that is four on Glyph Dragon. And then, because drop in frequency, frequency in which top drops in from brink to battle ring. Now we don't need this because it just shows you G2 chip, and I'm going to show you how to do that. So the run time is this to here, and that's a 2-1 Glyph Dragon. Like I had my stadium right there. Next unboxing we're doing, Venom Devolos. We're doing that right after. And then, okay. So, the parts is... Oh, Hasbro. Boom. GT chips out. We grab that dragon chip. I'm going to go over the other ones. He is so loud. So here we go is... Um, here we go. Ace Dragon, Rock Dragon, Glyph Dragon. I like it's the best. It's dark and it's got gold and stuff. I like it the best. I want this video brief before he's like shouting at me. Can I have my phone back? Because my phone doesn't have enough storage and neither does the iPad. So I'm doing this on his phone. Kind of like when they're still his phone, him and him. <laughs> the Glyph. Um, layer base for TT, but the energy layer for Hasbro, Zen weight in there, the sting tip, and TT, it's got like blue stuff, but you can attach a frame on for um, Hasbro, and then the charge tip, this is pretty interesting, because all of these tips are a little bit different, so like, charge for um, Glyph Dragon is a little bit more rounded, the charge for rock dragon those, those two are a little bit rounded this one's completely flat for defense stamina attack there you go i think i'm done with these now i'm staying because nothing different about them he said oh, hold on you mentioned last week you weren't all classic but i know tracy i did and then you put it in, flip it upside down, twist it that way for the right spin, push it in, so I can do it, and then twist it. It's not that bad slopes, I mean, like, right after you get, I don't know, give me a second, I'm going to go get update this page. Like, honestly, Air Knight has like such tight slope like right off the bat that they're so tight it's like wow but i will be battling um glyph dragon against the other two dragons and like boom he is so loud i'm gonna use this launcher it's the same thing as what comes with it this thing but i like it better with the double put that in first i'm gonna battle it against each dragon but before that before that, that's actually perfect right there. I'm gonna do a test launch of it. Hard launch. It's not really the most quiet bay, but now it's calm and boring. No one likes that. So I'm gonna launch this one first against Ace Dragon because it's a stamina type. I mean, it should have more stamina. Get him right next to me though. Let it rip. And I'm jumping into it. I'm gonna do a 
paddling by yourself, do these two launchers. Makes it more like they're closer together in the launching. And then just drag and win. I'm just going to be doing two point battles, so. One point to lift dragon. Light rip. Oh, I think that was a snipe, but you know. Who cares? Because lift dragon's gonna win. There you go. Glyph dragon beat ace dragon, which is a pretty nice accomplishment. Now we're going to rock dragon. Let it rip. Now we're going to rock dragon. Boom, there we go. And then Goof Dragon has a point. One point. Dang. It's the worst when baseball off the launch. It's like the worst thing ever. No one likes common boring Beyblades. So test battles are just boring. Especially with like two stamina and defense types. It's like, ugh. Boom. Look, Dragon beat both of them. I have to say it's probably the best of the um three dragons. I'm doing one more surprise battle. I'm battling against Zone Lunar. I don't know why, but I want Zone Lunar to win. I love Zone Lunar. Zone Lunar left spin, just boom. Stamina type, it should have more stamina. Let's get a bonus battle. Lunar's pretty powerful. And Lunar actually takes the first one with a survivor finish. Now Lunar gets launched first. Watch the Venom Devolos unboxing if you want to see the launchers get put together. I'm going to do that and show you that you can do that with Hasbro launchers. And now it's Glyph Dragon with the 1-1. One, one. Put the red card in the wrong, wrong one. That's also the worst. It's the worst when you use when they fall off the launcher and you put the red card in the wrong one. So then take it out and put it back in the other one. Here we go, 1-1. One, one. Next point wins. Oh, tie? Okay, new other battle. Let it rip! <laughs> and the Glyph Dragon beat Zone Lunar, too. Wow. Okay, well, that's probably going to end off the video. Zone Lunar, pretty good Beyblade, if I'm being honest. It's pretty good. We don't really need that in there anymore. I have to get closer. Pretty good, pretty good. I mean, it beat all three of these, which I'm going to zoom in on. Zoom in. It beat Rock Dragon. It beat Zone Lunar. And it beat Ace Dragon. So it is the grand champion of dragons. That might be why they called it Grand Dragon and TT. I'm gonna end it there. Bye.